But do you find that these days you still, when you're faced with a particularly difficult problem, when you're absolutely stuck, you tend to say, let's look at it like a Martian would look at it. And Sometimes. Stand there are lots of things that people did. For example, uh, Maxwell put the equations together, the Faraday, he formulated the equations mathematically with some model in his head. And then Dirac uh, got his answer by just writing and guessing an equation. And uh, other people got uh, their answer, like in relativity, got the idea by looking at principles of symmetry. Now, all these methods, and Heisenberg got his quantum mechanics by thinking only talk about the things that you can measure. Now, all of these ideas, we should only talk about things that we can measure. Try to define things in terms of only things you can measure. Or let's formulate the equation mathematically. Or let's guess the equation. Or all these things are tried all the time. Look for symmetries. All that stuff is tried. All that stuff, when we're going against the problem, we do all that. That's very useful. But we all know that. That's what we learn in the physics classes, how to do that. But the new problem, where we're stuck, we're stuck because all those methods don't work. If any of those methods would have worked, we would have gone through there. So when we get stuck in a certain place, it's a place where history will not repeat herself. And that's more makes it even more exciting because whatever we're going to look at at the other, the method and the trick and the way it's going to look is going to be very different than anything that we've seen before because we've used all the methods from before.